Hey guys, Lizzie with Marvel Shows. I'm back with another commentary, and yeah. And today's commentary will be on three months. Yep, and also, before I begin, tell you what, what commentary will be on. It'll, I'll actually be using loose from the Owl House for this character, because I was running out of videos of what I see use character, so I guess I could use loose from the Owl House, since I love the Owl House so much. I might warn you, when I saw this run, well, it's pretty obvious I would be angry at this run, because obviously it's... It's the commentary I'm doing that he ran on is perfect. And of course, um But this is gonna but when I saw this rant, this rant was made me extremely angry. Yeah, because he this rant is even worse than his bodge rant and even worse than his number blocks rant. Well, I know you're just saying that because because you could be just think so. And I'm like, wow, it literally there might be some problem rant. But it's just but that's not the reason why I think this is the worst rant he has ever made. Well, I'm obviously going to be doing a rant on my Winston fan, but like I said, this was the, one of the worst, pretty much the worst run he's ever made, and I'm going to show you and why, because he gave out idiotic information. He also said the N-word, that's racist to people, but anyways, um, this left. But like I said, mention the other Pimpy commentary video. If you guys hate Pimpy, I'm totally fine with your opinion, but I'm always like... Before I start this rant, to anyone who likes the show, I respect your opinion. Well, at least you're not trying to bash people's opinions, so I'll give you credit for that, even though I still don't like you, of course. But it's still good to be hard, so I doubt anyone's going to enjoy this. Anyways, enjoy. Peppa Pig? No, more like Stupid Pig. Oh. Is that seriously the best insult you could come up with? Because that insult was so cringe, of course. Oh my god, this has to be one of the worst Channel 5 shows ever. Correction, this one, this one of, this show is one of the best shows ever made. Well, obviously, it's my favorite. This show is about four characters, and they like to go on failure adventures. Oh my god, Vine Easter fan 2005. You should know by now that the failure adventures term is getting overused. Can you at least stop using the failure adventure term? It's getting overused. Peppa Pig is a stupid piggy that likes to go on the fucking main character. Seriously, you need, you cannot, you just said the other term, and watch your language, and also, wow, you saying piggy makes me remind me of the game, of course, which I instantly desist, this is a scary version of Peppa Pig, and reminds me of Granny, of course. She always wears a pink shirt. George? She wears a red shirt, not a pink shirt. Do your research or anything, can you even see by the logo? Is a crybaby. He always cries a lot, which is fucking annoying. Cold, heartless jerk! Mummy Pig likes to ground George 24 7. Okay, there's no way that happened because I literally don't remember seeing an episode where George Pig got grounded. And now this is pretty much like Grounded Go Animate series, which I infinitely decess a lot. And Daddy Pig? Well, I don't care about him. And. Well, at least you did not say. Nobody cares about it because that term is pretty much worse than the other term. But anyways, there are a few characters I don't really care about anyways, so not so, but not a lot. But anyways, this still red is still pretty going to be completely garbage. Susie is Peppa's best friend, which is still annoying. How is being best friends with another person annoying? That makes no sense at all. I mean, besides, even Lou started making friends with Amity. Hey, I don't even find it annoying at all. And you know what's worse? Peppa Pig has now been selling with merch, and it has over 2 billion people revising. What? Well, you're gonna have to deal with it. Besides, I can't have even seen merches with some so from TV sellers I don't like. Even though I like most kids' sellers, of course. And especially the Yahoo supports from the kids' sellers. What the actual fuck? Peppa Pig is still airing? Are you, are you sure that Peppa Pig is still airing until after 2030? What the fuck? I don't want Peppa Pig airing. You should have been- I don't know if it's still gonna air around 2030, but hopefully it's still- I hope it still does. I mean, there might be a possible chance that SpongeBob's perhaps are gonna still air around that time, since that show has been running longer than- as, In fact, SpongeBob has been long- airing a lot- has been airing longer than Peppa Pig is because- because Spongebob came out first before Peppa Pig. Since Spongebob was first episode came out in 1999, while Peppa Pig's first episode came out in 2004. Ashamed if you self of you, Nick Jr. Oh my god! What you said until Nick Jr. was extremely long! I mean, come on! 
You should not. You should know that's being a heartless trick right now. And also, that was Nick Jr.'s decision, not yours. You, Patrick Star Wannabe. And guess what? It's also aired on Nick Jr. too, and it's also aired on CBBS. What the fuck are you doing? And also, it's on ABC Kids too. I don't think so, but that that show must be hated. Okay, you cannot just wish for a show to be hated. It's their decision to if they like the show or not. I mean, I cannot believe I used to hate that show back then. Yes, I. There was a time I used to hate this show. Back around three months around 2000 mid early early 2010s, I started liking it again. Maybe when I was two, in 2014, and it also became my most watched show of all time. I couldn't believe this. Oh it's only 66% like this show. How is that the fucking normalness? Meh, I can deal with that percentage, I guess. I actually thought it was going to get higher, but no. And hopefully, I hope it gets higher. And at least it's not below 60%, unlike Bodge. Because it had only, I figured, when I first searched up that cell, only 57% like it. I don't even know why so many people, so many people think it's a ripoff of Wawa Wubsy when it's actually not. And let me tell you why the monotonous of the show is so stupid. First off, it had its pepper. Uh, there was a. And why is. And guess what? Why the fuck is pe. Let me tell you. Let me tell you. You're gonna be furious when I say this. Peppa Pig went to Dream World. Oh my god! That has. You should have been ashamed of yourself. I actually, I don't really know what he means by Dream World, so technically I have nothing to say about that part. Theme Shock of Animations, you should have been ashamed of yourselves. This oh my god! This is the same time you mentioned to Nick Jr. Just wow! Stop being so, stop being so heartless right now. show has to be retarded. And guess what? Five more years later, they made a stupid show which is Ben and Holly's Little Kingdom. Note, I don't like Ben and Holly's Little Kingdom. I'm ranting on it later in the series. Oh yeah, and to be honest, I like Ben Holly's Little Kingdom because this so reminds me of Peppa Pig, of course. I mean, fortunately, that's the same reason why Victor, the Sims of Senate, also hates it. Because he says, the, the drawings of the characters look as fully drawn as Peppa Pig. I tried to do it. But anyways, um, yeah, I, I can't believe I also forgot to add them. But I'll try to add them in my next large list. But anyways, yeah, and it was a good... And this show is a title of version. So, I don't like this show. This show, I, yeah. So, let me tell you why it's explanatory. And a little split. Let's uh, go over to the movie set. On February 14th, 2015, they starred in their own movie called Peppa Pig, The Golden Boots. And guess what? When I first saw that movie, it was actually pretty great. Although, that's when the first time Peppa Pig actually cried for the first time. Because usually the George Pig is one who cries. What? Peppa Pig? The Golden Boots? More like Stupid Pig, The Naked Boots. This movie's... Four things. One, did you seriously have to use another Mockman? Because that Mockman was so pointless. Two, you don't have to use the right place. It can be super loud. Three, Naked Boots, really. And if it almost sounded like Naked Boots, and they're actually naked, it would be on Adult Swim, of course. And four... You just had to cut up the scene where it says, This movie sucks! You forgot to add the word suck on it, of course. You know what's worst? On April 7th, 2017, they started another movie called Peppa Pig 2. My first cinema experience. I don't know if I actually heard of that film or not, because... I don't remember seeing it, I guess. WHAT?! Peppa Pig 2, my first cinema experience? No, more like Stupid Pig 2, my final shittiest experience, shit experience. Oh my motherfucking god, that movie is even worse than the first movie. Wow, that's another idiotic mock name, and once again, you have to use Irid voice. Seriously. The Golden Boot. Even worse, on April 2019, they started another movie called Peppa Pig 3 Festival of Fun. What? Peppa Pig 3 Festival of Fun? No, more like Stupid Pig 3 Shitsy of Nigger. Oh my god, this show sucks. 
wow, you just have to set the N-word to racist. You should know right now that the N-word is so racist to people. Wow, I cannot believe you have to see that. And also, those are more, more things. That's another idiotic mock name. And, and seriously. And also, I don't know if I remember seeing that. But anyways, but like I said, that's another dog knocking and you don't have to use Eric voice. Even though it does it come out on April, it's our saying Cinemas Mate 02. It I know it says it was released on May 2nd, 2019. But yeah. And there are too many motherfucking games to explain all of the games, so I'm not explaining any motherfucking games. Good, because I don't want you to give them idiotic mock names. And you might possibly say the N-word to them. Ugh. Three of the movies of Peppa Pig fucking suck. And the first movie was only 15 minutes. Wow, that's what you deserve from being a shitty, sh shitty, shitty, shitty movies. Heartless jerk! The actors are an asshole. Heartless jerk! Just like what happened. And they all, some of them, they have the same voice actor as on Ben and Holly's Little Kingdom. And this show is a crap. And yes, he's, I used to like this show, but now I don't. I used to like it since May 2006, and then started hating it since November 2009. Probably because I was getting a bit old. And Thank goodness you, you, so you actually used to like it, huh? That's kind of cool. Yep, and like I mentioned, there was a time I used to hate the show. But I started liking it because... I have to remember it from a childhood novel too. But anyways, yeah. And also, you don't have to hate a show just because you're getting too old for it. You can like a show if you're even if you're too old for it too. I mean, I mean, George the Disney Plus. Whatever. Please don't leave. Him. I mean, he likes Mickey Mouse Clubhouse and Sophia the First, even though those shows are preschool shows. So it doesn't matter because you can like principal souls if you want to. It's our decision anyways. One one, it's getting I'm getting too old. Two, the show is getting a bit annoying. Three, this show so sort of deserves to have motherfucking bad ratings. And four Heartless jerk! Heartless jerk! Cold heartless jerk! Four BBC, you should have done what you done. Anyways, this show is currently in its sixth season, and I hope it doesn't get renewed for the seventh season. But if it gets renewed for the seventh season, I'm going to be furious. Cold, heartless jerk! So I hope this show gets cancelled after season six ends, but or season seven ends. I hope it and does not... Sh Do you know who likes this show? Nobody cares. Little Bill. He wants to join the cast, but he can't because he's from Teletoon. How many times do I have to go through this? Fictional characters don't have opinions on other fictional characters from different TV shows. They're not from the same show as them. Because they don't even know who they are anyways. And also, I bet Little Bill would definitely not want to join the cast anyways. Not BBC. Oh, I forgot to mention. Thank God that B Peppa Pig got banned from viewing in China. Heartless jerk! But do you know who hates this show? Tolu the Total Drama and Linkin Park Guy. He made a rant on that show. So. Thank goodness you're gonna you put it in a user who actually hate it. Because if you just put it, if you put a fictional character just like you just did in the like spot from Little Bill, then there's no what. And I'll be so furious. I hated Peppa Pig. It's my number. It's my number one most hated shows on the list, outside of Ben and Holly's Little Kingdom and Dora the Explorer and Caillou. Well, thank God and good riddance. So, anyways, SpongeBob SquarePants is a million times way better than Peppa Pig. I agree with you on. Okay, I agree with you on SpongeBob SquarePants, but you still suck. You. End of rant. Oh my god! Damn it. That was the worst rant he has ever made!
Here's why. He said the N-word to put people is so racist. And of course, it's a dynamite style brand. He also made up tons of rock coins and had to use air right for what he did. And also, he just decided to hate the soul just because he's getting too old for it. It doesn't matter if you're too old for the soul. You're going to have to hate the soul. Seriously. The, the only good thing. Okay, the only good thing I can say about this friend is that he did not say the theme song is annoying because at least I did not have to play proof on this. But anyway, thanks for watching this commentary, and I'll see you later for more commentary.